so we've been looking at lots of different current events, and we've been looking at how to tell the difference between fact and opinion. So how do we know something's a fact, and how do we know something's an opinion? Hands down for a minute. What I'm going to get you to do is I'm going to get you to talk to your partners. <coughs> so I'm going to get Dylan to work with high back, Brighton to work with Aaron, and then Brett, I'm going to get you to work in a group of three with Erica and Summer, okay? So I'm going to give you about two minutes to, one, to think about it, one, to talk to your partner, and then I'm going to pick a stick. So everybody needs to be ready to answer, all right? So one minute to think, so silent think time. How do we know something's a fact? How do we know something's an opinion? So one minute silent think time. Okay, Shailen. Um, well, me and Cody said that it's, well, what's a fact? It's like it can't be, well, it can be proven, but it's difficult to argue with, and with opinion, it's not. Oh, 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 one thing, sweetheart. Oh. Just one thing. Thank you. That was fantastic. Hi, back. Can you tell us one other thing? About fact or opinion? Let's go with fact. Okay. Um, uh, this proof in lots of evidence for fact. There's proof or evidence to back it up? Good. Cody. Um, fact or opinion? Fact. Yeah. We'll do one more fact and then we'll move on to opinion. It isn't what someone thinks. It's not someone's perspective. Excellent. Erica, can you tell me something? How do we know something's an opinion? We know something's an opinion because that's what someone thinks. Good. Ilhan, can you give us another way we can tell if something's an opinion? Good. You can't measure it, and can you argue against an opinion? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you yes, you can. All right. Justin. Um, an opinion, it starts off with, um, I believe, I think, um, possibly, maybe, however, somehow. Good. So we can look for those keywords. Excellent <coughs> work, room six. Dylan. <laughs> The Earth is here on the end of 12,000. Okay, why do we need to know that? So if it's a fact, you might want to get packed or something. Okay, <laughs> so we want to get ready. We want to plan for our facts. Good. Hi, Beth. Um, you got to know a fact or opinion because um, as citizens, we need to know that if people, like the journalists, if people say, um, like a long time ago, they said that there's a spot, so mm -hmm. I'm going to fall off the edge. Okay. But there's proof. <coughs> there's points. Okay. Go yeah, ahead. Um, because, like, if you're voting, and then there's a, like, you're voting for a person, so you see that uh, I'm going to make, like, a bigger space, and then, um, and then that's, but they say something that, um, that they don't know, they're just saying in their opinion, and people believe them, but some people agree, uh, dis disagree with them. You don't know what's a fact and what's a so you can really know the, the right stuff and what's wrong. So, good. So what's wrong and what's right? Or what's true for sure and what's what somebody thinks? Good. Melissa. Um, so, like, if you, if you, if somebody tells you an opinion, like, in the, if they say, I think something's going to happen, mm -hmm. then you might go around telling people that, and then they'll be like, well, where'd you hear that from? And then they tell them, and they're like, oh, then your friend's lying, or whatever. Okay. Because then you won't even know. If it's so when we give people information, we want to make sure that it's a fact rather than an opinion? Yeah. Okay. Uh, unless you tell them it's an opinion. Okay, good. <laughs> we're going to take a look at what we're going to do with our fact and opinion today. So as Ms. Ludwig said in this envelope, are a bunch of facts or opinions or somewhere in between <coughs> from the current events we've studied. So you're going to have this envelope and you're going to have a sheet that's <coughs> going to have an arrow on it like this. So if every statement's going to have a number. For example, if number one was room six is the best class in the world, 
I'm going to take the sticky that has number one and I'm going to put it where I think it goes. Where do you think I would put room six is the best class in the world? What do you think, Dylan? Oh, okay. So we have to think about what does that mean? Is that, that detailed enough information for us? Okay, so all the way or? Mm, kind of half. Kind of half? How come? Because uh, it's also a fact after our class. It's also a fact for our class that we are the best class in the world? Okay. Ilhan? You can be more specific. Say, don't Okay. Now, looking back at what's a fact and what's opinion, can we say room six is the best class in the world is a fact? No. Why not? Oh, oh, oh. Hand up. Wait, your turn, please. Ennis. There's more than one perspective. Good. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? What is that? What do you mean there's more than one perspective? That's true. Some people might think that room six is not the best class in the world. We might think room six is the best class in the world, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Good stuff. We're going to talk to our partner before we write anything down. Why do we want to talk to our partner before we write anything down? Justin. Um, so that if we talk about it, then I might change. I might change my mind, or my partner might change their mind. Right. So you want to leave yourself the room to change your mind after you've discussed with your partner. Ilhan. It's always good to have another, um, another story about it, so you can understand it. Good. It's always good to have another side of the story so you can understand it. All right. <coughs> we are going to, my partner and I, if Michael were my partner, we would each put down on our own sheet each of those stickies. Is it important that, if Michael's my partner, is it important we put our number one in the same place? No. No? Why not? Melissa. Well, you can, um, because you, you guys may put it in the same spot, but you have my reason, different reasons. Like, if room six, you could put that in room six is the best class, but then the other person can say room six may not be the best class because it's, there's other room sixes, and the other person would say room six is the best class because um, it's the only room six in the room group. Okay. So, do I have to agree with my partner? No. 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 What's the most important thing when we're doing this? Ennis. We work together and we tell each other our size. And what's the most important thing when we're writing down here? What do we want to spend our time on? Michael. Writing why you put the sticky there. Good. Explaining why you put the sticky there. So I'm going to right away give you a chance to get started on that. But I'm going to answer Melissa's question now. There are eight different statements in your envelope. You need to do at least three. You're going to have ten minutes. So those of you who don't get through three are going to finish with me at recess. So at least three in ten minutes, but you can do more. So there's room to do all eight because there's two pages there. Do you think there might be evidence to back out? Uh, yeah. Back out yeah, that people might have the oil. the oil is running out. Okay. So. okay, so we've already talked about today how it's important to know the difference between fact and opinion to make our good decisions. It's also really important that when we get new information, we do what? When we are, have an opinion but we get new information, what do we need to do? Melissa. Um, notice, know that um, 
Because there can be two sides to practically everything, except for a Good. So we need to always know that there's two sides to everything, or at least two sides to everything. And if we get new information sometimes, what do we do? Hi back. You switch what? Research it. Research it. Okay, that's a good idea. It's always a good idea to have more information. Justin. If you want uh, something else, then you might be able to change your answer. If those are you might be able to change your answer or change your mind when you get new information, right? All right, so looking at the table, there are four statements that we're going to take a look at. And you have boxes on the side, and there should be one that says strongly agree, agree, disagree, and strongly disagree. So those are what those four boxes are for. So you're going to just take some time to think about it. I know Miss Ludwig uh, <laughs> messed up on the spacing a little bit there. So just know that the first one is strongly agree, agree. Disagree and strongly disagree, just like the one is over here. Okay? So you're just going to take some time to think about those four statements. So the first one is taxpayers should help pay for the Olympics. You're just going to check mark where you are without talking to anybody the first time. You're going to read each of those statements, just check mark where you are. And then with your partner, you're going to read, you're going to talk about it. And after you read, and you've talked about it with your partner, then you check off the second time now that you have your new information. Where are you? Agree, strongly agree, disagree, strongly disagree. And in this part here, you write your reasons. Right? So just reading those and making a decision, and then when you're ready, working with your partners. So in the article that you read, there were two pretty clear perspectives, so two ideas, one for and one against. Does anybody have an idea what were those two perspectives about the Olympics? What did they say about the Olympics, the two perspectives that we saw in there? Tanner. Um, the taxpayers pay for the money or spread, uh, just Okay, so that was one of the parts, but in general about the Olympics altogether. What do you think? Gladden. Um, okay, so should we have the Olympics in Vancouver or should we not? Okay, so if those are our two perspectives, so we have number one. The Olympics should be held in Vancouver. No, you don't need to write this down. Or number two, the Olympics should not be held in Vancouver. I want you to think about what do you think? I just want you to think about it. I don't want to see hands right now. So what do you think and why? So no hands. Oh, did I make a mistake there, Ennis? Ah, that's the same thing, and that's going to be a problem, isn't it? Thank you. So this one should be the Olympics should be held in Vancouver and the Olympics should not be held in Vancouver. Okay, so I'm going to hand out a sticky note to each of you and you're just going to write what you think about that and why on that sticky note. I ask you to just come up to the board and put your opinion under the perspective. So just wherever it is. Thank you, David.
for taking your opinion and putting it under one perspective, wherever it is. Oh, just this group here. So, have a seat for now. Okay. Do you think the Olympics should be held or they shouldn't? Do you think the Olympics should be held in Vancouver or not? Then that's where you put it. Vancouver's awesome. Okay, so once you place your sticky back to your desk, So we have here our two perspectives, and then what do we have around them? A lot of stickies. A lot of stickies? What are the stickies? What's on those stickies? Erica? Our opinions, right. So are any of those going to be the same? No. No. None of them are going to be the same. We all have different opinions. We all have different points of view. But it comes down to... Do they all fall under one perspective or the other? 